Chloe's on her way to meet last night's speed dating pick Luke, who did enough to impress both her and Lauren to win a dinner date with the pair of them. Now we have a slight spanner in the works, ladies at the ends, because you both chose Luke. Of course, each will decide who he'll pick for dessert. It's a huge battle of the reality queens. My first time speed dating was interesting because it's a bit brutal, ain't it? I know it's called speed dating, but it really is speedy. To be fair, tonight's date might not last much longer. I'm hoping Luke tonight is going to bring the personality, bring the jokes, then he'll have the full package. Well, he better save some of that package for Loza too, because she's having the main course. And here he is now, bronzed Adonis project manager Luke. Why do I think this has the potential to be incredibly awkward? Good job he booked. A bit dressed up for a star, aren't you, Chloe? Hello. How you doing? All right? Good, thanks. Good to see you. No. No, you look lovely. Thank you, so do you. Look at chair. This is a bit quiet, isn't it? Yeah, I, um, I just put the whole place out because I thought it'd be a bit nicer. Well, I hope your personality is going to make up for the atmosphere. We'll see, won't we? You look, you look beautiful, like, seriously. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you do. Thanks. Luke is proper fit, like, fitter than last time, and he's dishing out the compliments. I'm looking forward to this starter now. So Are you Greek? No, I've got a massive mix, like massive. All right, show off. My mum's like proper, like Irish, white, green eyes, blonde hair. She leprechaun. And then my dad is just this massive mix of like everything. My family's like Portuguese, German, British, like English, and yeah. You're like my mate Pete. He's got dark skin, blue eyes, long hair, and he tries to say straight face English. It really stresses me out because he's not. Pete Wicks? Oh, yeah, now, come to mention it, he looks nothing like him. You look for him. Hmm. You look really handsome. Wow, a compliment from Chloe. Looking good, Lukey boy. I want to know why you picked me. Do you want to know the real answer? Use the tallest. Is that why? And you look like you just walked out of a Tom Ford advert. But... I'll take that. Even though we had a nice chat, mm. the smaller ones were funnier. They usually are, Chloe. Five foot six and a half of pure banter bags. Good yeah, goodness. but they might have been giving it all away straight away. Do you know what I mean? Luke is really good looking, but his banter level is down here. It needs to be up here to compete on my level. Like, what do you find funny? What's your, what's your favourite comedian? Oh, this is embarrassing. Jimmy Carr would be my favourite comedian. Oh, p off, slick back. He ain't funny. Don't you, don't you like Jimmy Carr? Not really. Why not? Don't get, I don't think he's funny one bit. I think he's actually quite rude. He's got no banter. I would ruin him in a banter contest, put it that way. Now, that is a contest I'd pay money to see. What do you want to get out of this, then? Somewhere to put your coat? No, I feel like I do want to settle down. Like, I... Yeah, that's I don't good. Know, maybe, like, I know, like, strong, independent women aren't supposed to say that they're ready and they want that and they just want I to just... settle down, but I do. Like, I've, I suppose I've been programmed like that. Yeah. So I do want to meet my soulmate, but I haven't found him. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe you will soon. Maybe you have. Who knows? I don't know about that. My husband's not going to take me just for starters. Someone's angling for a banoffee pot. I'm not really surprised that we both choose the same guy because he was probably the most better looking one, a bit more chilled, a bit more grown up. Don't know him yet, but in seven minutes he seemed the best one. Well, as long as she don't like short funny guys, Luke should be laughing. Hello. Hi, Chick. <laughs> you look beautiful. This is right. the weirdest situation. <laughs> it is, yeah, In it, it weird? In it weird, babes. Right, yeah, Luke. Yes. Well, well, I see you again. You, you okay? Too. Right, Lauren, lovely to see you. Yes. <laughs> nice to see you again. Yeah, you too. You Have too. a nice day. Bye. Yeah, so you're yeah. glad that I picked you out of all? Yeah, I was, I was shocked. The other guys were nice, but it just weren't really my thing. Let alone her dong. So far, so good. It's a little bit weird on this date when he's been stuck with Chloe, but he's all right to look at, so I ain't complaining. So how did it go nice. with Chloe? Yeah, it was good. Apparently, my... Um... My sense of uh, comedians isn't isn't up to standard. You won't get any sympathy off me. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not like Jimmy Carr. So. Mm. Let's hope she's more impressed with his taste in food. Cheese, please. Looks good. Thank you. Then medium rare. Fantastic. Nice. I'm going to try a bit of this. Um... Broccoli. I thought this was called broccolini. What? I thought broccoli was like where you get like the 
the normal one and it looks like a tree. And then this here was called broccolini because it's like thinner okay. and longer. That's what I thought. You are winding me up, aren't uh, you? No, I'm not. Google it. Oh, poor Chloe missing out on all this top veg bant. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. We didn't do it before, did we? No, I did. Yeah. Do it on again. Okay, there you go. Why'd you have to look at it in the eyes? I don't know, I just what I heard, so it was bad luck if you don't. So I thought I'd do it. Mean? Follow suit. What? Bad sex for ten years. Hang on, 2019 minus 10. Yep, that explains a lot. You're nice. just nice yeah. and calm and quite yeah. genuine. Well, good. Yeah, I like, like, well, that's nice because that's how I'd, I would want to come across. I'm actually really enjoying Luke's company. I don't know if he's going to pick me to have dessert with, but I hope he does. Anyway, thank you. Cheers. Thanks for picking me again. That's all right. It's good. <laughs> good chat. He has been. Has it? <clears throat> Yeah, if he comes back, I'll, um, I'll order, mm. order dessert. Because I think you've got to I've got to pick choose, a dessert, yeah. No, not a dessert dessert. <laughs> I've got to a natural dessert. Yeah, a natural dessert. This isn't confusing at all, is it? Do you know what I mean, though? You don't know what I mean, do I you? I'm not, feel, I'm not, not getting what you're saying. I think you have a dessert with me or Chloe. Oh, yeah, 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 I know. So, yeah, I had, I had good chats with both of you. Like, mm -hmm. I think you're both lovely, like, really lovely girls. Yeah, agree. I agree. You agree? OK, <laughs> that's good. I'm glad you agree. I think I'm going to have a dessert with... Chloe. Oh, God, it's a pie. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, Loza. So nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Like, ge like genuinely. So thank you. So nice for dinner. Thanks so much. And lovely to meet you. I'll give you. A, I'll give you a hug. Yeah, give us something to remember you by. Well, the date went absolutely horrendous. <laughs> I just did not feel comfortable for the minute I walked in there. Right, see, you see you later. I don't think I was mentally ready for that today. I feel like I need to see Anna and Paul at the agency and have a chat with them and figure out the next stage because I am just really, really confused right now. Oh, well, maybe you can grab a Solero from the garage on the way home or something. All right. Hello. Again. Back for dessert. How was your mine? The food was tasty. I think she was talking about the company. So, yeah. Happy I chose you. I would have been happier if I had three courses. I'm happy Luke chose me. I love a dessert. I've got a proper sweet tooth, and he's quite sweet too. Well, what if I take you on another date and there's starter and main and dessert? I'll think about it. Oh, the ice queen eating ice cream. Anyone else feeling a bit chilly? You're regretting picking me now, ain't you? No, not at all. <laughs> the reason I picked you is because you give it back a little bit. That's one way of putting it. I think you're absolutely stunning, like, attract, like attraction-wise, like, you're a 10 out of 10 to me. Oh, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've never said that to... I don't know if I've ever said that to anyone before. Oh, you're so, a charmer. So you said you were going to think about it. Are you asking me on a third date? What's on the third date? No. Ouch! You don't want to? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like that. Yeah, you would? OK, yeah. good. Great, what time should I tell Loza to get there? Do you research on comedians, though? Yep, it's Beckett with two T's. Ask Jeeves. Yeah, I will. Because we've got to be on the same banter level and right. we're not really there yet. Right, got to go. All right, it's well, lovely thank to you. Meet <laughs> See you later. Oh. 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 Sorry. Double awkward <laughs> kiss and weird hug. Real smooth, Luke. Don't forget to message me those, uh, those comedians. Yeah, telepathically, I will. Probably easier just to text on WhatsApp. I'm young still. I do actually really fancy him. He's what you would say is seriously good looking. If he'd have put it on me, I probably would have kissed him. Did I hear that right? The Ice Queen wants a kiss on a first date. Unbelievable!